Hi, so I'm going to demo a very common scenario here where I'm going to use Redis Cache as the session state provider for an IIS ASP.NET application that's load balanced. And in another video, I'll be doing a step by step here. I'll just be demoing the concept of the three infrastructures working together. So, um, the first thing I'm going to show you here is I have three servers here serving up the same ASP.NET application that relies on session state. And I do not want to use in process session state because when the load balancer redirects traffic to different servers, if I had in process session state, I would lose my sessions as it's distributed across different uh, load balance servers. So what I'm going to do here is um, I am going to log in via this ASP.NET application. And um, what I have here is uh, showing you the session state. And you'll notice at the bottom of the application here, I identify which server the page is being served up. So you'll notice here, uh, the session state is being used because it identifies the login user when I'm flipping back and forth between the pages. So there's, there's a concept of a session here. And currently it's being served up by the Redis uh, state session provider and I'm going to refresh here and you'll see this page is being served up by Silver Surfer yet I retain the session here and this page when I flipped over here is being served up by the server Iron Man and yet the session is retained here so I'm going to go up to the servers and I'm going to show you the session state that I have set up so you'll notice this is my ASP.NET application and my web config has this session state provider. And my session state provider is Redis here. And I'm gonna show you where I actually got that connection string. So if I go back to my Azure, I'm gonna go to my Redis instance which is this here. So I'm gonna close this out and show you my Redis instance. And you'll notice in the access keys, so you see here, up here it says Redis cache. So this is the connection host name here. And I have the Redis Stack Exchange module here, and this is the connection string. Now, if I go to the console of that instance and I list the connections, you'll notice I have the three servers connected Firestorm, Silver Surfer, Iron Man, which is the servers under my load balanced pools so you notice those are the three servers here and you'll notice in my settings I also have the session list session persistence is none so I'm solely relying on the distributed Redis session provider here to maintain state across the load balance servers and again I'll be doing a, another video on how to set all this up step by step uh, whereas this is more generally a demo of the concept so you notice here when I open up the console I want to show you the session keys that I have for this instance so you see the that's actually the session key And if I bring up the application here, you'll see that is the session state that is being stored here in this Redis in this Redis storage here, in this Redis cache. So when I go back to 
my instance. The other important aspect that I have to make sure of is to set up the machine key. So I do have three instances here. You'll notice this is the Iron Man server that I have up here. And if I go to the machine key here, you'll notice I have this machine key. Now, now I need the same machine key across all of the servers in the web farm. So I, I do have a web farm here and the machine key actually decrypts the session uh, the, the session key so if it is distributed across three different servers so this is my silver surfer server and I'm going to show you that the machine key is actually the same across all three servers and this here is my Iron Man server and you'll see the session the machine key is the same here. So wh when you create a web form, you'll need the machine keys to be the same, and this will be persisted in your web.config. So if I open up web.config, you'll see one of the XML nodes is the machine key. So make sure of that when you're doing a web form distributed across a load balancer that you have the machine key set up all identically across all, all of the servers because it does decrypt the session key in order to look it up in the Redis instance. So, but, but that's really it. That, that's really what I wanted to demonstrate as far as um, you know, how it actually works and to actually show it working as you know, this one session is being interacted across three different servers. So once again, this is a uh, Silver Surfer, yet I still retain the session. And if I refresh, this is Iron Man, and I still have the session. And back to Firestorm, and I still have the session. So, um, you know, that's really it. Uh, definitely look at my video on how to do this step by step and um, you know I hope this helped and thank you for watching